Hey guys, welcome back to Team Denslinger. My name is Peter, and today we're going to be looking at my BT15 Leviathan X deck profile. Starting with our eggs, we're going to be looking at four copies of the BT6 Sunamon. We've got a couple of cards that are going to let us pitch cards to draw cards, so this is just going to net us an extra draw. And it's a little bit better than Demi Marimon because we don't really want to lose our stack to pitch one, draw two, whatever it is. Um, four copies of BT15 Gizamon. On play, one of your opponent's Digimon is going to gain on deletion, lose a memory. And the Inheritable is going to gain us a memory when an opponent's Digimon is played by an effect. Our whole stack leading up to Leviamon wants to force Digimon to the opponent's side of the board so that we can gain memory and then pop bodies with Leviamon and gain more memory. So cards that are in line with this idea like Gizamon are just super fantastic for that. We've got three copies of Psychmon just to stop the enemy from training, basically. And then four copies of the EX5 Shakomon. Uh, it's on play, it's going to draw us one trash one for each of your opponent's Digimon. And then again, the same inheritable to gain us a memory when an opponent's Digimon plays a uh, when an opponent plays a Digimon by an effect. So this is going to be really good with the Gizamon. Then I like three copies of the new promo Raremon. It is a four cost that will let you trash one, draw two on play and when Digivolving. And the inheritable is not bad either because when attacking, we're going to trash a card to delete a level three. So this can pop floodgates. This can trigger our Sunomon egg, and it's effectively just another way for us to play Eyes Mon while it's restricted. And we don't even have to lose the stack to uh to get the effect. So we can block it down, we can get a check with it, and we get two pitch cards, which is great. Three copies of Gesomon for BT15. It is a blocker. On play, your opponent's gonna have to pitch a card or gain you a memory. And it can attack if your opponent has no Digimon, which doesn't really matter too much. Um, and this one will also net us a memory when an opponent plays a Digimon. Then we have four Octomon from EX5. This is effectively going to look at how many Digimon are on the board and give either you or your opponent a Fujitsumon token. And on deletion, that token is going to force the player to trash a card in their hand. So the idea is to play this to get a token on your opponent's side of the board. And when you go on Leviamon, they're going to have to pitch a card. The Inheritable will also gain us a memory when a Digimon is played to their side of the board. So again, right now we're up to two memory, possibly, when the opponent plays a Digimon. We'll be using four copies of the new BT-15 Waru Seedramon. When an opponent's Digimon is played by an effect, all of your opponent's Digimon gain on deletion, lose a memory, which is going to be great when we go into Leviathan. And then when attacking, your opponent plays a level four or lower, they don't get the on play. Uh, so it's going to give us two memory back on our stack, basically. And the Inheritable gives piercing, which is super nice. Then we have four copies of the EX5 Dragomon on play when Digivolving, your opponent's going to play a level 4 or lower, no on plays activate, and then when they play a Digimon by an effect, you get to play a purple Digimon with the same level or less from your trash. So this is going to keep your board wide um, and force your opponent to uh, give you memory for playing a Digimon by an effect, and then this will also give a Piercing Inheritable. We have three copies of the new Leviathan X, so this is going to cost two to go on Leviathan, and all turns or... Yeah, just all turns in trash. When an opponent's Digimon or Tamer is played by an effect, one of your Leviathan or Digimon with X antibody can basically warp into this card from the trash without paying cost, which is super good. Uh, if this is in your trash and you go into Dragomon with an X antibody underneath, you just get a free Leviathan X. It's going to have security plus two. Um, and if your opponent has more Digimon or Tamers than you, which they should, if you go into Octomon and you give them a Fujitsumon token, you're going to delete a uh, Tamer and then a level three, a five, and a seven, which is... Very, 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 very good. Uh, it's hard to understate how fantastic that is. And then we have Leviathan uh, from EX5. It's also going to have security plus one. On play when Digivolving, if your opponent has as many or more total Digimon and Tamers, you're going to delete one of their highest level Digimon and lowest level Digimon. This effect is super good. It gets around protection because it double targets the same Digimon if it's the only stack on the board. So that's really important to remember. And when an opponent's Digimon is deleted, you're going to gain a memory for each Digimon deleted. So if you delete two different Digimon, you're going to get two back. You can discount this for two with the Wisdom Training. So you can effectively clear two bodies, get two checks for one memory. So that's fantastic. And in combination with Leviathan X, you are looking at potentially clearing a Tamer, a level three, a four, a five, a six, and a seven, which is six cards on board for two card investment. That is just super absurd. It's very, very good. Then we have Seventh Lightning. It has a trash alternate effect. When a Digimon digivolves into Leviathan X, you can return this card to bottom deck to pop a 4 and a 6, which again is going to give Leviathan the ability to basically pop a 3, 4, 5, 6, and a Tamer, and a 7. So that's fantastic. And then on main, you can trash a card to pop a 4 and a 6. So the best value I see out of this is pitching a card, or pitching this, going into Dragomon, you're going to digivolve into Leviathan X, you're going to get to... Activate this, so you're going to pop a 4 and a 6, and the Leviathan is just going to wipe everything else on the board, basically. So, 
that is just it's basically a free board wipe every time you go up the stack it's really good um bite and crush you can trash a card to delete a level six or lower and if you trash a leviathan with this you get to place it in the battle area and basically the delay effect is when an opponent plays a digimon you get to play leviathan back so you're gonna trash a leviathan pop a six when they play digimon by an effect you're going to get to play back Leviathan, which will then pop their highest and their lowest level Digimon. Which is just, it's kind of crazy. It's pretty good. Um, two purple memory boost. We got to make sure we find our pieces. I like purple memory boost. You could run missed memory boost here. Um, I've never been a fan of possibly trashing a card that I need. But uh, I think we do have enough trashing effects to get away with just running the purple memory boost. And then we have four wisdom trainings because that's card in the game. So... Lastly, we need our X antibodies. We go to X antibodies. Um, I like this over the proto form because the proto form you can't just tuck underneath without digivolving into an X antibody, even though the other one discounts it and then we'll recover you one when the stack dies. I think this is just better for our purposes. So this deck is probably going to be at all of the events everywhere because it is so absurd and it has the ability to basically just, I don't know what you do against it, <laughs> to be honest. Like you're gonna wipe the entire board uh, you can you definitely want a Crimson Blaze against this thing. Um, but yeah, I hope this deck profile is helpful for you guys uh, to get you started. You can always modify ratios, modify card. Like, you could pop, uh, swap out this rare mod. You can swap out the Psych Mons. Whatever you guys think is comfortable. But I hope this serves as a template for you guys to get started. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, that's it. So have a great day. And thanks for watching.